Are you stuck trying to figure out what's wrong with your spray paint mural? Like the colors aren't blending correctly. You can't seem to layer one color on top of the next and have it look right. Maybe the surface itself is starting to look like a popcorn ceiling. I have an idea what might be wrong with your mural and a solution for how to fix it. Over a year ago, I started a giant portrait. It was only my second attempt at painting a full color portrait and my largest by far. I was still pretty new to this, so I made plenty of mistakes. Since I was still trying to figure out the colors and how to blend them and which colors to use, I wound up using a lot of paint. I also realized that I wasn't shaking my cans enough. If you want to know how to properly shake your can, you can see the video right here. Anyway, I applied a ton of dusty layers to my portrait thinking, that's how the colors are supposed to blend. This is what I'm supposed to do. Maybe if I layer a little bit of this on top of that, then it will look like this. And it didn't quite come out exactly how I was thinking. This is what it looks like. As you can see here, the paint is really uneven. Uh, no matter how many layers I put on top of this thing, the layers that I had underneath kept showing through. And so I was taking my fingers and I was brushing them against the wall and it feels very rough. And I could actually scrape off in some areas all of that layered paint. So I realized that I had way too many dusty layers. If you try to get the airbrushed effect like too much, then you'll wind up having a painting that kind of looks like this. This is her forehead. And this particular area especially, I just couldn't seem to fix. No amount of paint that I would paint over that would fix it. I realized over the past few years that I've made this mistake a few different times. I recently went back to the painting to fix it uh, with my newfound knowledge of painting. Paintings like this are extremely hard to fix, but I did find the solution, even though it seemed a little bit scary. Keep watching so I can show you what I did. First, I'm Jenna Rice. I'm a full-time muralist in Greensboro, North Carolina. I've learned a lot along my journey, and I wanted to help you skip all of the trial and error that I had to go through when I taught myself how to spray paint. I have many more videos coming up just like this, so please click that subscribe button for me and click that little notification bell so you can be notified when I drop my next video. All right, let me tell you how I fixed this thing. Yeah, so after a lot of thinking and after going through in my mind of all the different things I could possibly do to fix this thing, I decided to take a leap of faith. I decided to paint over it. Don't freak out. It's not the end of the world. Sometimes you just need to start over to make things better. Sometimes the second time you paint something, it will actually wind up looking a whole lot better. And this has actually happened to me a few times before. This is part of the learning process, guys. It's, it's necessary to fail in order to succeed in the long run. I understand if you believe that you wasted so much time on this. I probably wasted several days to several weeks working on this portrait, trying to get it right. I wasted a ton of paint, which means that I wasted money, I wasted time. But honestly, this was worth it. So this is the full portrait right now. Uh, it is a mess. So this is the entire wall. It's a work in progress, guys. But her face is far too dark uh, and layered weird. So here we go, uh, adding paint. <laughs> I decided to use a brush uh, just so I could really get deep down into those little holes and uh, really cover very well that entire face. I actually brushed her entire face, which is crazy, but I really think that it did a good job. I did a couple layers. Honestly, now that I'm looking at it and after repainting it, I realized that I probably should have added one more layer. And you'll see here kind of in the final photo that I show you in a moment. But yeah, just uh, try to work the brush into the paint as much as possible. Uh, don't put too thick of layers on there because if the paint is too thick, then it's going to take a long time to dry and then it might dry kind of weird and crack and then you're going to have even more trouble painting over it. So just take your time here and just keep brushing little by little until you cover the entire piece. So 
So if you look closely here, it actually still kind of looks uneven. Uh, I really do wish that I put another layer on there, but it's too late now. Here I go. Uh, I have a full time lapse for you guys to show you the entirety of my repainting. In case you're wondering about the random numbers and letters I wrote all over her face before I started painting the portrait, uh, that is called a doodle grid, and it's a way that I scale my design to the wall. If you'd like to learn more about what a doodle grid really is, you can click on the link above. I did realize that adding a couple of layers of paint really did help a lot. Um, I was able to blend the colors a lot more easily, the paint was adhering to the surface much better, and this time, with a year's more experience, I was able to get the proportions more correct and blend it a lot better, and this time I was really careful to not use too many dusty layers and too much paint. Another thing to note, if you're going to be using bucket paint to cover an old mural and paint over it, be sure to let that paint dry for at least 24 hours before trying to paint over it. So I paint it, when I painted over it with a brush, I waited an entire day to go back and uh, paint over it. So this portrait is part of a big wall that I am painting for Coda Street Art in Eden, North Carolina. If you'd like to hear more about this project in particular, I'll give you some more details in the description below. So I still have some more work that I'd like to do to this portrait, but I am going to show you what it looks like now just so you can see how much better it looks than it did before. I'm really glad that I decided to start over. She's looking so much better already. So I learned my lesson the hard way, but that's okay. I'm treating this failure as a stepping stone to create better murals in the future. I wanted to share this with you guys because it, it was a really traumatizing moment for me. I really didn't want to lose this portrait. I didn't want to start over, but it was necessary and I'm so glad that I did. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to put those in the comments. Also, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button for me. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to help everyone learn how to spray paint the correct way so they don't make all the same mistakes that I did. Also, be sure to click that like button for me so more people can see this video. I hope everyone has a fabulous day. Remember to stay peaceful as a calm mind is a creative mind. Now go get inspired, be an influence, and make something beautiful today. Peace.